and we're back you tuned into sport federation tv and the rain is pounding down and i must apologize for the interference if the sound quality isn't as perfect as it usually is but western cape needs the rain uh from the world of softball we have luke jacobs and matthew diedrichs in studio to tell us about highlights from the world of softball welcome gentlemen thank you thank you right so Softball, what's the difference between softball and baseball? Uh, generally from my side, the difference between baseball and softball would be certain things we use, the bat, the bat in baseball and softball would be the different things. So generally in baseball, the major league, we use wood bats, wooden, wooden bats, and in softball to be composite. It's more of a, as a different type of uh, plastic, other plastic that the, that, that, that the guys use. Okay, yeah. and the pitch is also bigger or smaller? Yeah, hey. the softball pitch would be a bit smaller, yes, than, than, than what the baseball pitch would be. Yeah. And, yeah. And softball is also bigger than a baseball. Right. The ball. The ball size yeah. itself. Okay, and I suppose that impacts on the entire play of the game. It yeah. makes it feel very different. Yeah, hey. yeah, generally. And baseball, you, you tend to pitch over, whereas softball, you, it's, it's under, strictly. Okay, all right. So, you are playing softball for how many years now? Sure. I've been, I've been playing since probably the age of nine, ten years old. So that is almost 18 years now. Okay. I've only been playing for three years. Three years, Matthew. <laughs> how did you end up in the world of softball? Through baseball at first. I've been playing baseball since the age of four. And then I've been playing baseball since the age of four and then through my baseball teammates that play softball, they got me into playing softball. Okay. Mm -hmm. And which, which areas are you from? I'm from Archery. Archery? I'm from the Balthorn area, Balthorn Athlon area. Yep. Okay. So which clubs do you play for? I, we both actually play for Hamilton's. Hamilton's. Softball. We both play softball for Hamilton's. We both yeah. play for Athlon Athletics Baseball as well. So we both play together in softball and baseball. Okay. Tell me a bit about your club, uh, the type of people that are involved in playing the sport there. Oh, the type of people that we're involved with at Hamilton's itself is, uh, I, think we've, I think we've been blessed to have the, the type of players that we have in, in that team. We've, we've been blessed with SA players, not only from the softball side, but from baseball as well. Mm -hmm. Just to mention one of their names would be Carl Michaels, Nigel Kershoff, Tyron Brandt. All these guys that we've just been, that we've just been able to groom, that been able to groom us and give us Give us the platform to what to do what we're doing right now. Yeah. So you've had uh, you've had some big shoes, so to speak, <laughs> yeah. uh, to fall <laughs> yeah, in, definitely. in the world. I mean, if you've got uh, guys with protea colours in your club, yeah. they've already set that bar pretty high. Hey. That's that's that's, that's for sure. Yeah. Now, Matthew, you said you started with uh, with baseball yeah. and you moved over to softball. What what inspired you to make that move? It wasn't. I actually play both sports at the moment still. So just to play some more sport to keep more fit to just stay doing things keeping productive in sport decided to do both yeah that's yeah. about three years ago okay and uh, speaking of south african players both of you recently excelled uh in a, in a specific championship and now you may be on your way to also achieving those colors hey yes, yes. that's true okay yes. tell us about the event uh that uh, culminated in this well, the event took place in Rustenburg uh, at the Olympia Park Stadium. Um, there was a certain amount of provinces. I don't know how many provinces exactly eight, was eight, involved. I think eight. Eight, eight think or so. Eight. eight or so provinces were involved. Unfortunately, we, we weren't we weren't part of the playoffs, but we did we did prove our worth. Uh, there were certain players that, that was left at home due to due to certain things. But uh, like life, like like life. Uh, like life throws us a curveball if we <laughs> like if you yeah, the yeah expo excuse the fun um you need to you need to move on we need to we need to still go play the game and the game and the game has to go on yeah. but it was a good tournament we enjoyed it and i mean being two seasoned players now and you said uh, you mentioned to me earlier that uh, you were involved as a junior you achieved colors as a junior and now yeah. you're achieving colors as a senior yep. what would you say are the benefits uh, for a child joining the sport Benefits of them joining the sport. I mean, generally, it's always a it's always a thing of keep trying to keep the kids off the street, uh, knowing knowing the all the ills, all the social ills out there. Um, it's just it's just a good way to to spend some time, get to go, get to get to know one, get to know people on the team, get to know each other, stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a, it's always a good experience to get to just build relationships and uh, like 
you, you never know what to expect um, or, or you get from a next person. When life throws you a curveball. Yeah, you, ne <laughs> you, ne you never know. Like myself and Matthew have just grown this, this bond now over this time. Um, seeing that we now play baseball together and softball, we, we would have this bond and that, and that bond automatically then feeds into the team and it just, it, just, it just makes for a good atmosphere and a good vibe at the end of the day. And I think that's why we play the sport. Because if you, if you look at it, we don't, we don't get paid. We don't get paid for this play the sport, but we do it for the love and, and, and just, the, just the vibe, just the vibe at the end of the day. Mm. Now, Matthew, you guys have to go through quite a rigorous <laughs> stretch now before your, 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 your seed in the South African squad yeah. is confirmed. Yes. Uh, what is the process that you have to go through? So we haven't heard much yet, but there will be training camps throughout the year, throughout this year and next year, because the team will only be announced next year because the tournament will only be next year in Czech Republic, Prague. Wow. That's a, if you I hear that's squad. one of the most beautiful places in the world. Well, if you say that, then... <laughs> I've heard. <laughs> oh, yeah, you heard. <laughs> <laughs> so if we do make the squad, then that's where we're going. But there will just be a lot of training camps on possibly long weekends, in the holidays, stuff like that, when people can get off. Mm. That's normally the procedure. And then at the next uh, provincial tournament, the squad, the team would be announced. Yeah. Be announced. Wow, so so a lot of things to do. You have to keep at your, your A game yeah, for true. the next couple of months. Hey. Yes, yes, that's it. Okay, and I wish you both all the luck. Thank and you. And I you hope you make that South African side and earn your Pratia colors and bring much. home the gold. Thank you. From Thank Prague. You <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you'll come back and give us some feedback when Definitely. you're done at the World Champs. Definitely, no Sounds doubt. Good. All right. Um, after the break, we'll be back with more news from softball with one of the administrators from that world joining us to give us news about development. Uh, stay tuned.